Hello everyone, uh, today what we're going to be talking about is the 18th century eel pot. And eel in the 18th century was actually quite a popular eating fish, not only here in North America by the Indians and the colonials, but also uh, around the world, especially in countries like Japan and New Zealand. Here in North America, eel meat often sold for much more money than uh, other native fish that were caught and uh, they were really sought after and uh, popular fish at that time. There were different recipes that uh, you could make your eels, uh, uh, prepare your eel meat with. You could make eel pie, smoked eel, roasted eel, things of that nature were very popular. So um, there are basically three main ways that you would catch eels in the 18th century. First of all would be spearing. Eels love to hide underneath the rocks in the river bottom and you would simply go along with your spear, flip over the rocks, and spear as many as you could. The second main way uh, really worked mostly in the fall time when the eels were running out to the ocean. Eels, like uh, they spawn in the ocean, so you would basically set up a V-type dam with an opening at the base of the V, and as the eels were running out to the ocean, you would have that dam there so that they were funneled right to that opening in the bottom of the dam. And you would place a large basket or even uh, platforms there for the eels to run onto and then get caught. And that was a, a good method that was used not only by the Native Americans but also by some of the uh, colonists during the 18th century. But uh, a really popular way, the third way, was with an eel pot. And right here I have an eel pot. Now I'll just show you real quick uh, how they're made. I mean, they're very, very simple. Uh, a very, very simple basket. This one is made of splints. I bought the material to make this one, but um, I did weave it myself. And this one's only about two and a half feet long. And uh, you can make them anywhere from two and a half to three feet long, or longer, depending on uh, what, really depending on uh, your preference. And this one has uh, one, uh, one side that's open, the other side's closed. And you can make them with both sides open with two funnels. And I'll show you, this one has one funnel on this side. Let me get it out here. And there's the funnel right there. Tapers from the bottom up. And what happens is uh, you place meat down in this containment basket, this large basket, and the eels have a great sense of smell in the water. So they smell that meat, and they try to come to the basket. You place this funnel in the containment basket. So when the eels try to go in, that's their view right there. They see the meat in the back, and they swim into the funnel. Now it tapers down to their body size at the end, and then when they get in to get to the meat, they can't get back out, because uh, two reasons. I have these, uh, my splints are, sh are sharpened here at the bottom of the basket, so when they go in, they get caught on that. So their only way really to go is to go forward, which uh, gets them stuck in the, in the basket. And the second reason why they get stuck in the basket is because fish are really, uh, they don't know, they don't have the ability to learn from their mistakes. So when they swim in, they don't really have the knowledge to say, okay, I need to swim back out that way. So that really makes this basket very effective for not only eels, but any other kind of fish that you want to catch. You just have to make it to that specific size. This basket, I can really catch anything from an eel to a bass to a trout. Uh, anything bigger, you know, you have to make a very large basket. But this was a very popular method, uh, not only in the 18th century, but also before the 18th century and after and continuing today to be a method uh, of catching eels and other fish. So these were not only made out of splint, but also willow shoes was a very popular material to make these out of. So very uh, popular method for catching fish in the 18th century and a very simple design. So thank you for watching today and I'll see you on the next one.